I am Josh J. Witz Wittenkeller, and I'm here with Alejandro Luna, the first winner of our streamed matches. He is now 1-0. No draws, no losses. You took the victory all the way, both games. How's yeah. it feel? Uh, it feels good. Uh, game one was scary. Didn't think I was going to pull that one out. It looked pretty ugly. Um, yeah. how, how often do you win games when you start Jirachi in that matchup? Uh, it's winnable. It's, it's more winnable than people think. Oh. It's bad. The Jirachi is just a card you have to play. Uh, ironically, in my testing last night, I was starting Verizian like barely ever. And then as you saw today, <laughs> I didn't start it either game. Well, so you, you trained for it. Yeah. yeah, I was prepared. I was it's prepared like, uh, how to play around it. Babe Ruth, you train with two bats. That way, when you have just one, it works. No, yeah. you got it. Yeah, you got to roll the punches sometimes. So, oh, glad man. to glad to pull it out though. <laughs> How's it? How about those clutch time draws? They were like the plasma energy you needed to rip in game one. <sighs> yeah. The muscle band you needed in game two. Yeah, the, both of them. Um, I played a little bit riskier. I've been playing with Jason a lot, so he's been playing very aggressive. And there's just times right. where I for, used for to those of you guys unfamiliar, Jason Kuzinski, he's a part of our area, three-time world champion. He's, yeah. he's a good testing partner for sure. It's not bad, definitely not bad. <laughs> um, and so he's he, okay. He, yeah, he's been telling me like there's a lot of times where I would be, end and be more conservative, where he's just like you can't afford to to miss these draws. So I was being a little more aggressive. My sycamores, discarding cards that I may need later. Yeah, um, like game two, he's like just discard two ends. Two ends, it's like two grass. But I knew that he was in a bad spot, and if I could capitalize on that, then I would be ahead further on. And I knew that I had energy switches in my deck, so I was like, my last Genesect is just going oh, to have to be... The clutch double switch. Exactly. Both with different card arts. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, so I know, easier to count, so... So uh, how long have you been playing the competitive game? Um, so I used to play when I was younger. Uh, I started in the base set area, obviously everybody was, and then I stopped playing probably like 2000, Neo Genesis era, and yeah. then I played a little bit in 06, not too competitive, I didn't have a car then. Um, but I'm familiar with that format when, when Jason won his first Worlds. And then I started playing again in the Heart Gold Soul Silver On area. Okay. I've been playing yeah. for four years, I guess, since then. So, yeah, you know, uh, you're like, I don't want to say fresher. It's It's been a while. Time's, time's going pretty yeah, quickly. But yeah. It, like, the uh, amount of consistency you've been able to pull off since coming back to the game is not something a lot of new players see. Yeah, exactly. In my second year playing was probably my best year. I qualified that year. And then after that, I got a full-time job. I worked for J.P. Morgan. So my life just went to uh, <laughs> just went went to work. So uh, I don't have time to play a lot anymore. I went with the deck that I just thought was consistent for today. Um, we, again, there's there's probably decks that are playing gimmicks and like hard charms and stuff. I just went with a very consistent list. Uh, we'll see how it turns out, though. Yeah, I, I always see this guy, yeah. suit and tie, trained to Chicago, full yeah. business, but he means a lot of business with the cards, too. <laughs> we'll, we'll be checking up on Alejandro as he continues throughout, uh, starting with that first win, grabbing three points for a total point total, trying making a top cut. That's how you want to start it. Good games. Thanks, Jason.